Hello and welcome back to Blue Sky Media. Today we are back with another video filled with knowledge and information. In this video, we will look at amazing facts about sharks, part 4. So, let's get started right now. Young sharks eat things such as small fish, shrimps and baby octopuses. As sharks grow bigger, they hunt bigger prey. A typical shark lives for around 25 to 30 years, although some species, including whale sharks and dogfish sharks, may live for 100 years or more. When a shark dies, scientists can tell how old it is by counting growth rings in its spine, like the rings inside tree trunks. There are several types of sea creatures that like to hang around sharks. They include some fish species, and many parasites that feed on a shark's skin, blood or insides. Small crab-like creatures called copepods attach themselves to a shark's eyes, gills, snout or fins. They nibble the shark's skin or suck its blood. Sea leeches bite sharks on their undersides and suck their blood. Barnacles are tiny sea creatures with shells. They fix themselves to rocks, boats, and large animals such as whales and sharks. Whale sharks sometimes try to get rid of skin parasites by rubbing themselves against boats. Inside their bodies, many sharks have parasites such as tapeworms. They live in a shark's gut and feed on its food. Pilot fish swim alongside sharks to hitch a ride on the shark's slipstream, the currents it makes in the water. Sometimes a shark and another species can help each other. This kind of relationship between two animals is called symbiosis. Sharks open their mouths to let tiny cleaner wrasse fish nibble lice and dead skin from between their teeth. As the wrasse are helping the sharks, they don't get eaten. Remoras or shark suckers are fish that attach themselves to sharks using suction pads on their heads. They hitch a ride on the shark's body and feed on scraps of food left over by the shark. Sharks are found in seas and oceans all around the world. Sharks are almost all marine fish, which means they live in the salty sea rather than in fresh water. Just a few shark species such as bull sharks and Ganges sharks can survive in fresh water, and swim out of the sea into rivers and lakes. Sharks are most common around coasts. Many species like to live in shallow sandy bays, near coral reefs, or in the medium deep water a few miles from the shore. Coral reefs and seaweed forests are an especially good home for young sharks. They provide them with food and hiding places. Sharks that live out in the open ocean, such as blue sharks, are known as pelagic sharks. Many types of sharks, such as wobbegongs, spend most of their time on the ocean floor. They're called benthic sharks. Many sharks prefer warm waters, such as those around Africa, Australia, Japan, and North and South America, but a few, such as the Greenland shark, live in cold water around the Arctic. Sharks are hardly ever found in the Southern Ocean around Antarctica, probably because it's too cold for them there. Most sharks don't have a fixed home. They just swim around anywhere they like, looking for food or seeking a mate. Sharks don't build nests, dig burrows, or make any other kind of shelter. A territory is an area that a wild animal marks out for itself and guards against rivals. Big cats, bears and many other animals are territorial, have territories, but scientists are still trying to find out how territorial sharks are. Some shark species, such as the grey reef shark, seem to have a territory that they patrol and guard. White tip reef sharks stay in the same area for several months or years, although they don't defend it like a true territory. Some sharks, such as horn sharks, pick a special nursery area to lay their eggs in. Females may guard their nesting area against other females. Some shark species, such as nurse sharks, use underwater sea caves as a place to rest during the day. Some sharks have special preferences about where they live. For example, the Galapagos shark is only found around groups of small oceanic islands. Many types of sharks travel long distances in the course of their lives. As all the world's seas and oceans are connected, it's easy for sharks to cover huge distances. Dogfish sharks that are tagged and released back into the sea can be located over 8,000 kilometers away from where they were first caught. Migrating means moving around, usually from season to season, according to a regular pattern. Blue sharks make the longest migrations. They follow the Gulf Stream current across the Atlantic from the Caribbean Sea to Europe, then swim south along the African coast, then cross the Atlantic again to return to the Caribbean. A blue shark can cover a distance of more than 6,000 kilometers in one year. 
Sharks sometimes migrate in order to mate in one part of the sea, then move far away to another area to lay their eggs somewhere safer. Another reason for sharks to migrate is to follow shoals of fish as they move around the oceans, in order to feed on them. Scientists think sharks may use their ampullae of Lorenzini to detect the Earth's magnetic field, helping them to navigate over long distances. Many sharks, like spined pygmy sharks, spend the daytime in deep water, but swim up to the surface at night. This is called vertical migration. Scientists divide the 400 species, of sharks into eight large groups, called orders, and around 30 smaller groups, or families. Arranging sharks into groups, or classifying them, helps scientists to study them and identify them. Scientists often disagree about how to classify sharks. Different shark experts have invented several different ways of grouping them. Shark orders and families have long scientific names. For example, goblin sharks belong to the Mitsukurinidae family, in the order Lamniformes. Some shark groups have common names too. The Lamniformes, for example, are also known as mackerel sharks. Like all animals, each shark species also has its own scientific name, which is written in Latin. For example, the great white shark is Carcharodon carcarius. Scientists decide what group a shark belongs to by looking at things like its body shape, markings and behavior. Sometimes, very different looking sharks can belong to the same group. Huge whale sharks and small, slender epaulette sharks, for example, are both in the same order. Some sharks have several different names. For example, the sand tiger shark can also be called the sand shark, the grey nurse shark, or the ragged tooth shark. There may still be unknown types of sharks that scientists have not yet discovered. The most famous and feared of all sharks is the great white. Belonging to the mackerel shark group, great white sharks are fast, fierce hunters. A typical great white shark is around 4 to 5 meters long, slightly longer than a car. The biggest great whites on record were over 7 meters long. Great white sharks are usually found in medium warm waters such as those around North America, Australia and Japan. Great whites do sometimes attack humans, but their favorite foods are fish, seals and sea lions. Great white sharks are not white all over. They are gray on top, with a pale gray or creamy white underside. Sea fishermen report that great whites sometimes stick their heads out of the water, or even leap high into the air. Great white sharks can't be kept in captivity. If they are caught and put into a tank or aquarium, they only live for a few days. Swift and fierce marcos are strong, muscular hunting sharks that can swim at great speed. Marcos are closely related to great white sharks and live and hunt in a similar way. Marcos have long, streamlined bodies with very pointed snouts, and grow up to 4 meters long. Marcos are known for their vivid colors. They are dark purplish blue on top and silvery white underneath. They have been described as the most beautiful of all sharks. There are two species of mako, the short fin and the long fin. The long fin has longer pectoral fins. The name mako comes from the Maori name for the shark, mako mako, which means man-eater. Makos are common around New Zealand, the home of the Maori people. They are also found in oceans all around the world. Makos sometimes attack humans but they usually eat fish. Mako shark's teeth are very narrow and pointed to help them grab slippery fish in their jaws. People often fish for marcos as a sport and they are also caught to use as food. Marcos are also known as bonito sharks or blue pointers. There are three species of threshers, the common, the pelagic, and the big eye thresher. Thresher sharks are easily recognized by their extremely long tails. The upper lobe, or part, of a thresher's tail can be up to 50% of the shark's whole body length including the tail, threshers can grow up to 6 meters long. Threshers use their amazing tails to round up shoals of small fish such as sardines or herrings. Then they stun the fish by beating, or, threshing, them with their tails, before eating them. Although threshers are big, their mouths are small so they only eat small prey. Threshers hardly ever attack humans but they have been known to injure fishermen by hitting them with their tails. Common threshers are the best known and are often seen near the shore. Pelagic threshers get their name because they prefer to stay in the pelagic zone, the open sea, away from the shore. Big eye threshers often live deep down in the sea. Their eyes are up to 10 centimeters across. 
A typical sand tiger shark is around 3.2 meters long. Sand tiger sharks are not a type of tiger shark, and aren't closely related to tiger sharks. They belong to a different order, and are more closely related to marcos and great whites. Sand tiger sharks don't have stripes, they have brownish spots instead. The name sand tiger shark is given because they like to swim over the sandy seabed near the shore, and because of their large teeth. Sharks often circle around their prey before closing in for the kill. Sand tigers are not very dangerous to humans. The diet of sand tiger sharks is mainly fish and sometimes they kill and eat bigger animals such as sea lions. When hunting, sand tiger sharks sometimes work in groups. They may surround a shoal of fish and feed on them all together, in a feeding frenzy. Sand tigers are popular in zoos and aquariums, as they look frightening and exciting and survive well in captivity. To help poor beagle sharks swim faster they have a second keel, or ridge, on their tails. This makes them powerful swimmers. Like great white sharks, poor beagles are grey on top and white underneath. You can tell the difference because poor beagles also have a white mark on the dorsal fin. Poor beagle sharks grow up to 3 meters long. Cooler seas, such as the North and South Atlantic Ocean, are the preferred habitat of poor beagle sharks. Poor beagles can make their bodies warmer than their surroundings. This helps them to stay warm in their chilly habitat. Poor beagle sharks used to be known as mackerel sharks. The diet of poor beagles is mostly fish and squid. They sometimes chase shoals of mackerel long distances to feed on them.